With just about two weeks to go until Ultimate Custom Night is released, I thought I'd try to find out as much as I can about the night. So, of course, I was ordered to the trailer and screenshots. Now, we don't know much about it, all we can really gather is from those two sources and obviously the game strip, game description, sorry. And that is exactly what we're gonna do today. I didn't make another video covering the Steam page, my reaction to the trailer. There's a link down in the description to that if you want to see it. And today we're just going to be going further in depth with the trailer and the screenshots and the description to see if we can find out what exactly we're going to be doing during this custom night. So let's go! So the first source I thought I would start off with was the trailer. Now, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to run through it non-stop once and then we're going to go through it again, and this time taking a deep look at what's inside the trailer. So if you haven't seen the trailer, here you go. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit nervous for this, but the... I just want to say, I've already seen this, so I'm not actually going to be reacting to it. These bumps are just... Ooh. Okay, guys, so I actually see the offices here. So you can actually customize the offices now. And there's challenges here as well, loads of challenges that we can do. Oh my god, we have the vent system? Oh, what? Okay, I'm going to close off that vent. The duct system? Let's go. <laughs> there's so much happening. 20 difficulty. 20 difficulty. <laughs> Freddy! The ultimate custom night is not something to mess around with. This is the ultimate custom night. Ah! Oh my god! John, Bee Bird likes you. Thanks very much! No, he's characters. I can't even move! Oh, uh, oh, why is. Oh! No! Oh god! Ah! Ah! No! Reset the ventilation! Let me put you back together and take you apart all over again. Wow. Whoa! So that was the trailer. Now I've lost it. Here it is. No, don't look at that yet. A little bit nervous. For Shut up, Raz. So now we're gonna go through it again, and this time looking at what we can see. So here, uh, if Raz Bowser would get out of the way, we see him, and we also see the screen where you get to customize what they, uh, what difficulty the animatronics are, sh are set at. So, is that? I'm a little bit nervous for this, but the goose We get a better look later. Okay, here's a pretty good look. So, as you can see, over on the right, uh, actually, no, start off on the left. Over on the left side of the screen, it's actually almost the entire screen, you get the grid. We've already seen this grid. So, um, as you can see here, uh, this is Darko. Doc, you can't see him, my face cam's in the way, but Darko's right there, and his mouse is over. Nightmare Balloon Boy. And here we have two arrows up and down. Up will obviously increase the difficulty and down will decrease the difficulty of that animatronic. And also down in the left corner of their squares you get to see what number they are at between 0 and 20. And then on the right we have the set all button, set all characters to 0 difficulty, 1 difficulty, 5 difficulty, 10 difficulty, and 20 difficulty. Then we have two blue buttons, Office and Challenges. Office, we'll get to see a little bit later, you get to customize the layout of the office, where I believe it's the FNAF 4, 3, Sist Location, and 2, I can't actually remember, Challenges, we also get to see those later, we get like, Chaos, um... And I can't remember anything else after after that. Point value, 10, is currently set to 10. I believe each point is 10 points. So the reason why he is 10 right now is because Rockstar Foxy is at 1. And then high score for that, uh, for you, is 0. He hasn't done it. 50-20 best time, this is where you'll see the furthest time you've got in 50 time mode and then show character info if you have that clicked it, that button will turn green and when you hover over someone it will show what they do and we'll get to see that a little bit later and then go obviously that's how you start the night hey guys so i actually see the offices here there we go here are the customization office so we have the normal one which is what we see in the uh the what's it called 
Ultimate Custom Night regular office. Except it looks very different. There's actually a desk with some monitors on it. There's some buttons, but it looks mostly the same. The box is over there. I built, wasn't it on the right side? Can't remember. And then here you can kind of see the sys location office. We see um egg baby. I believe it. I believe its name is. We also got a uh, gumball machine. I think that is. And we just got a lot of sys location vibes to it. FNAF 3, you can see the arcade machine with Chica's, uh, Phantom Chica's head in it. That's where she would spawn in FNAF 3. You also see the Bonnie mascot. And the FNAF 4 office, it's just the house. The FNAF 4 house, obviously, with the closet, the wall with picture. Uh, I think you can see the telephone on your desk, which you do have a desk. And you can also see that you have to get scores... Uh, high scores in order to unlock the office. Sys location need 2,000, FNAF 3, 5,000, FNAF 4, 8,000. And then you just click that one, click OK, and it'll automatically change the setting of your office. So you can actually customize the offices now, and there's challenges. And here are the challenges. We've got Bears Attack 1, 2, and 3, Pay Attention 1, 2, Ladies Night 1, 2, 3, Creepy Crawlies 1, 2, Nightmares Attack, Spring Trap, Old Fringe, and Chaos 1, 2, and 3. What's interesting about these challenges is that there was not a 50-20 mode challenge, so you may just have to end up adding them all up to 20, and then go from there. Or he'll add another one somewhere. Um, Bears Attack, probably just going to be all the bears that we have. Pay Attention is probably going to be uh, characters with the most difficult things that they do, I don't know. Ladies Night is probably just gonna be all of the female animatronics. Creepy Crawlies, I'm not quite sure, it might just be um, some scary animatronics coming after you, like Nightmare on or, I don't know. I've known these characters for so long, many of them aren't necessarily scary to me, like Nightmare Mangle and Nightmare BB. Nightmares Attack, again, that's very obvious, it's gonna be all the Nightmares. Uh, up here, Nightmare Freddy and the Freddos, Nightmare Bonnie, Fredbear, Nightmare, you know, all those guys. Not sure if Jack Chica is going to be in it, because technically she is a Nightmare, but just a Halloween edition. Springtrap is probably going to be, you know, the Springtrap, uh, Scrap Trap, and Springtrap. Maybe it'll include some of the Phantoms as well. Old Friends may be uh, these, the original cast in FNAF 4. Pro probably, and Chaos is probably just all of them, I would expect, just in very difficult conditions. He's here as well, loads of chances. And then you got Go and Cancel. Ooh, wait, I didn't realize we actually get to see some of them. And there's challenges Go back. here as well, loads. So, yeah, so Bears Attack is just all the Bears. Pay attention, it does look like it's, um... Ooh, man, those are kind of difficult ones. Yeah, so those are some of them. Ladies Night, again, all of the female animatronics. Yep, nope, these are diff- Ah! No way. Mangle is in Ladies Night. Maybe she's a female? Oh no. Creepy Crawlies, oh, we got to see that for a split second. Okay, this is Creepy Crawlies. Yeah, just... Yeah, this is not what I was thinking. Looks like we got the, uh... What are they called? Mediocre Melodies and also some... Kind of creepy looking animatronics. Oh, you can see we have the withered animatronics up there. Oh my. And then here we have the duct system. Actually, no, sorry, this is the vent system. So this is the... Right, left, and upper vent. And the characters that come through there are Mango with the Chica, Molten Freddy, and who's that? Oh yeah, Springtrap. So as you can see, you got the three areas where they can come into, and you're gonna have to block those off. Click on Nodes, Nodes, is that how you pronounce it? To set Vent Snare. Snare not effective on all animatronics, so that means some of them can get through. And up top, you can see your Faz tokens. Over here, you can see your 12 a.m. and your time. We also have different uh, things you can turn on and off, such as power generator, silent ventilation, heater, 
power air conditioning, global music box, and off. Nice. Reset ventilation, you also have your heat down here, you have your power and your power usage, and also your noise meter. So let's go back to the vent. This is your office here, at least that's what I suspect, and this is where they start off and they can go either up here, over here, oh, just feels my face cam covering this, I should probably get rid of that. Uh, yeah, they can go up here, up here, or through here, and then they can come down here, or down here, or they can just go immediately down into your, um, to your left. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get rid of my face cam, because that, that is blocking crucial information. Okay, everybody, this is totally the same day of recording, and my video totally did not corrupt, and midway through the video, all the footage is gone, so I'm definitely not doing this part again. And we are to I'm I have totally not done this before and not redoing it because it got corrupted. So <laughs> basically what happened is I forgot to press record after my face cam went away, but I did press record when I went to do the teasers, so now just midway through the video it's just just this. So we are analyzing the trailer. Right, so we did this, we analyzed this. Okay. Okay, duck system, I'm gonna turn up the volume a bit more. Duck system, so this is the duct system. As you can see, you have open duct, you have closed duct, uh, recent ventilation over here, we have the same things over here where you can switch your systems. Same thing up here, click on path to set l audio lower, so let's say someone's like right here and I don't want them there. Actually no, let's say they're right here, but this is already closed, so I can't close that. So I'd click there, and- oh shoot. I'd- I'd click here. I'd click here, and that will lower them away. Um, I'm guessing these are the characters in the duck system, which I believe is the mediocre melodies. And... yeah! Okay, there's actually something I want to talk about here. So... As you can see, it is the office, we have the cameras, we have the mask, which is what Mr. Ryan here... Mis hey, I have a math teacher named Mr. Ryan. So, this is what 8-Bit Ryan has to do, since Gordon Freddy's here, he has to put on the mask. As you can see, Gordon Freddy, he looks exactly like he does in FNAF 2. And something else I neglected to mention in my previous recording, quote-unquote recording, is that there's no buttons and lights for the doors. So, I don't know if that means it's going to be like sister location, where you have the option to, you know, camera's S, the vents and doors are A, W, and D, and shock was E. So, it may be like that, but yeah, it's it's definitely interesting why there's no lights and, and uh, buttons, lights and door buttons. And as you can see here, we have the Foxy figure, meaning that Foxy is peeking at a pirate cove and not Bonnie, so that is something to take note. Here we have the prize corner, with all the plushies. We have the Bonnie plush, uh, Baby plush, two Chica plushies, Funtime Foxy, and Freddy. Also here, hiding behind the FNAF 1 layout, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, is, um, is the death coin. So, you can buy all these for 10, and I believe the death coin is also 10, it looks like. And this takes place on the stage, which is interesting. Uh, something I hope we get to do is see inside the kitchen, because I don't know if I mentioned that, but Chica is in the kitchen. Uh, I believe that's all. Here we have another uh, section of the grid. Difficulty. 20 difficulty. <laughs> I'm trying to see, I can't remember what's actually in the storage room, it doesn't look like there's much. It's so hard to see with all the static. Corey, why you gotta do this to us, man? Uh, but yeah, as you can see, he really needed to reset that ventilation. Here's the puppet jump scare. All the jump scares are new. None of them repeat, they are not like any anything else you've seen. They are 100% new, so here we can see Ryan's getting jump scared by uh, the puppet. 
This is Darko's reaction to seeing regular Freddy in the, uh, in the West, West, uh, the West Corridor. Freddy! The ultimate... Here's another grid. Is not so and here's something interesting. I don't know if I addressed this. I definitely addressed this in my live stream on the demo the other day, which is going to be so weird to say because I haven't recorded this video in a long time. But the mechanics for old man consequences. Use the C button on your keyboard to catch a fish when his minigame appears. Otherwise, he will lock your monitor for a short time. So, that's pretty simple. When you flip up your monitor, there's a chance that Old Man Consequences minigame's gonna come up and you need to quickly press C, or else he'll deactivate your monitor for a little while. Which is similar to what the Penguin did in Five Nights at Candy's 2, if you've ever seen everyone play that or have played it yourself. So, definitely gotta be careful of this sneaky guy. Something to mess around with. This is the ultimate custom knife. Quote, Fusey. Uh, fusion, not Fusey. Fusion. Ultimate Custom Night equals the Ultimate Custom Night. 2018. And, oh, that was a quick glimpse there. Can I get that? Ah, here we go. This is Pirate Cove. And as you can see, Foxy... <laughs> that's not Foxy. That's Bonnie. Bonnie is very aggroed because he is... Uh, he has to be stuck in a cramped space with Foxy, and so he's gonna jump scare, uh, jump scare Raz. Uh, here is a fast coin, so if Raz needed some fast coins, he could click that, and then he would have two, because he always had his one up here. Ah! Here is Golden Freddy's jump scare. Oh this is definitely one of my favorite bits of the trailer. We get to actually hear... What fun time? No, that's Rockstar Foxy. What Rockstar Foxy says, and this is Rockstar Foxy is jo is voiced by Joe Goddard. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Yarg, me bird likes you. Yarg, me bird likes ya. As you can see, I am one hundred percent a voice actor. Thanks very much. No, these characters, I can't even move. Oh, oh. Loads of characters. This is an interesting scene because we see one, two. Three, four, five characters, to my knowledge. We have Nightmare Balloon Boy down here, Rockstar Freddy standing. You can slightly see Phantom Freddy uh, right here if you look very, very closely. As you can see, Scrap Baby is hiding behind Nightmare On, which uh, Phantom Freddy and Nightmare On are slowly getting into your vision. And you don't want that, because then they will kill you. And, look, five characters in your office, and it's only 12 a.m., 13.2 seconds into the custom night. We don't know. Actually, it could be very different to this because I don't actually know what difficulty these characters are set to. But based on what Scott's been saying, I, it's probably not much. What is oh, for a split second there, we got to see Toy Freddy. Oh, come on. Come on, cooperate with me. Oh. No. You, you can just slightly see it. Actually, I think there's a teaser. And yeah, here we go. You can see Toy Freddy playing Mr. Hugs. I believe there's a teaser. And then here we have a a load of jump scares. We've got Nightmare BB, Rockstar Foxy. Oh God! Also Toy Freddy. Here we can see. <laughs> Not only do we see Darko dance like an absolute king back there. But we see what happens when you get a new high score. You get honored by a great job. New high score. And then it shows your high score. Which I believe, to my knowledge, Scott Cawthon himself has a high score of 6.8 thousand points. So that is the goal. That is the number to beat if you want to be better than Scotty C himself. What's happening here, as? Oh, oh, he's just waiting it out because he is four seconds away from winning. But unfortunately, I believe he gets jump scared. Ah! Yep, Blower. Ah! So that was Blower jump scare. As you can see, it's very similar to, <laughs> very similar to what her jump scare is like in Sister Location, where she opens up her face plates to reveal her endoskeleton. Ah! Then we can see here a new challenger has appeared comes across your screen when Dee Dee activates and she can spawn in 
anybody. Literally anybody. So you gotta be fast to find out who she who she added. <laughs> this is Chica's jump scare as you can see. Very similar to FNAF 1, where she leans in from your right and attacks you from the side. But again, it's it's new. So as you can see here, we got the prize corner again, and Raz had to reset the ventilation. Unfortunately, he was not quick enough. Whoa! So, Docco is the only one who knows who who knows who knows how or who says that. I believe it says something along the lines of I'll. Let's hear it again. Let me put you back together and take you apart all over again. It sounds like it's saying, let me put you back together, then take you apart all over again. Don't know who says that. Daco's the only one who knows. And he said in his video that he's not going to say. So I guess we're just going to have to wait. Whoa. Whoa. So... This is weird because I've already done the outro to this video technically, so we're just gonna move on to the teasers. Goodbye, says future Jonathan. Adios. So here we have the first screenshot at. This is the first screenshot with Nightmare on, Phantom Freddy in the background, and Rock. For God's sake, Rockstar Freddy in the background. And, as you can see, it's- Stop! Uh, there's really not much to talk about this, but we do get to see Nightmare on Phantom Freddy, and Rockstar Freddy. And the next one... Oh, now you don't want to zoom- go to the next one. This is the sister location page, or office customization thing. As you can see, we have a Funtime Freddy mask up here. We have the security puppet off to the right. We have Bon Bon sitting on your desk. Egg Baby to the right. Bitty Babs. Um, uh, are those mini arenas? No, those are the heads that are on the desk. We also. Oh, wait. This is Sys Location and FNAF 6 combined, actually. Because we see a pizza. We have the control desk. And this is just a reskin mm -hmm. of the office. It still has the same function. And. Yeah, that's it. Next, we have the FNAF 4 office, and as you can see, we are wearing the mask because Toy Chica has invaded our office, our FNAF 4 customization office, and yeah, we also have the desk, as you can see, it's basically the same office, just with the FNAF 4 skin. I don't know if anyone's going to come from that closet, I'm guessing it may serve as, an, as the vent in front of us, that would be cool. And here's another very important feature, as you can see. Wow, 120 heat? That's a lot. Here we have... I can't actually see these very well, so I'm actually... Sorry about this, but I'm going to quickly look on here. Ah, uh, I can't see. No, it's moved. It's moved. So we have plus 1% power... Okay, I got it, yeah. Sorry about that. So we have Funtime Foxy, and if you catch him in a, in a good mood, he'll offer you these four actions. You get plus 1% power, you can restore your heat to 60%, you can soundproof your office for I believe it was 5 or 15 seconds, something like that, and then that is... What is that? can read that. Oh, it was... Is that plus five? No! I think that might have been plus five Faz coins. Stop moving on without me, dang it. I can't read that bottom one, but I'm sure you guys can. Next one, this is the vent system. We've already talked about this. But here you can see they are different... They are in different positions. Mango is going to come through here, but but he slash she cannot because they have blocked it off. Next screenshot is very interesting. This is the FNAF 3 office. Uh, as you can see, we got the figures, we got the arcade machine with Phantom uh, Phantom Chica. 
we have Toy Bonnie in our desk, in our desk, in our office, so we're gonna have to put on the mask. Then we have Wither Chica crawling through the vent system in front of us. Unfortunately, she's stuck, so she has to wiggle her way out. Here is 50-20 mode. All 50 characters set to their highest difficulty 20, and as you can see, it is worth a glowing 10,000 points. Here's the West Hallway, with Jacko, Chica, and Freddy. Uh, regular Freddy, just kind of hanging out, waiting for us to open the door so they can come and kill us. Here's the prize corner. What's interesting about this is that, in the trailer, these were all 10, and the death corner was 5. Now, all these are 20, and the death corner is 10. So, to, probably depending on the difficulty of the night, these are probably going to be worth more. In here is the pause and service room. It has now been transformed into Toy Freddy's Man Cave, with Toy Freddy playing his game, uh, Five Nights at Mr. Hugs. Okay, I'm good. Sorry. Sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, Toy Freddy playing Mr. Hugs. We have a nine fast coins. And if Mr. Hugs is there, you have to close the door, you have to do all that. Basically, you're playing the game for him. <coughs> then we have the duck system. We've already talked about this, so not much to say here. Here we have the bathroom, which is where Funtime Cove is with Funtime Foxy. And as you can see, showtime is at 2 a.m. So if you look at Funtime Foxy at 2 a.m., I believe they reset the time to sometime sooner, or later in the night, actually, and you can see Funtime Fox is peeking out. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous and for this, And then, but... Raz, of course. So, it, we have one more thing to look at, and that is the description of the game, so let's do that. Well, hold on one minute. Character guide. Hmm. I have not seen this. Wait a minute. Let's let's take a look at this. Character character guide June fifteenth, Scott. This is the final character list for Ultimate Custom Night. Most of this was already posted on the Pizzeria Simulator Steam page, but I felt like it was obviously more useful here. You will also be able to see shortened versions of these descriptions in the game itself by moving your mouse cursor over a character icon. So these are just all of the characters and their description that are in the game. My question is, has he added Didi? He has. Nice. So, she appears at random, can add... Yep, yep, yep. The animatronic added will not be announced, so you will have to quickly look at your cameras and other systems to find out who it was. Didi also has potentially... has the potential to add one of two characters not listed on the character selected screen. So... And then, of course, we have the two new ones who we don't know just yet, but they are on scottgames.com. Hopefully, that video has been released where I talk about them. If not, then it's going to come out soon. So, this is the completed list. Not much to say about it. We've already been over this through the uh, character updating videos. So, now let's take a look at the description of the game. About this game. Welcome to the Ultimate FNAF Mashup where you will once again be trapped alone in an office fending off killer animatronics. Featuring 50 selectable animatronic characters spanning 7 Five Nights at Freddy's games, the options for customization are nearly endless. Mix and match any assortment of characters that you like, set their difficulty from 0 through 20, then jump right into the action. From your office desk, you will need to manage the two side doors, two vents, as well as two air hoses, all of which lead directly into your office. This time, you will have to master other tools as well if you want to complete the ultimate challenges. Tools such as the heater, air conditioning, a global music box, a power generator, and more. As if all that weren't enough, you'll also need to set up laser traps in the vents, collect fast coins, purchase items from the prize counter, and as always, keep a close eye on not one, but two pirate cove curtains. So this is just telling us what we have to do in the night, so it's not really much to, much description here that we don't already know. But, there are some 
features that have been announced specifically on this page. Those features include challenge menu, including 16 themed challenges, voice acting from returning favorites as well as new arrivals to the franchise, unlockable office skins, and the most crucial part about this game, unlockable cutscenes. Whether or not they have anything to do with lower doesn't matter, because somehow Matt's gonna make sure that they do, or they could just be completely random things that Scott decides to throw into the game. Who knows? As of my time recording this, Ultimate Custom Night is being released in 13 days. Whether or not it's the same for you, whether or not it's out, doesn't really matter, because... It'll be out soon, if not, it's already out. That didn't make any sense. But basically, what I'm trying to say here is that we don't have a lot of time to talk about this game. And to be honest, there's not really much to talk about. We kind of understand what we have to do. Unfortunately, like I've said already, Scott is releasing two more characters in the game. So that's going to be super duper fun to see. And I will make a video on it once they get announced. And I just want to say, this next few weeks are going to be absolutely chaotic. Because not only do we have them coming out, and Custom Night being released on June 29th, or 2018, I forgot to mention that, it's being released on June 19th. I mean, June 29th. On the 26th of June, the fourth closet is also being released. I have pre-ordered it. So once it comes out, it should be to me in just a few days. I will make a review about that game, and if you guys want, I may even read it to you. But, yeah, it's going to be a very chaotic week. Uh, actually, next chaotic few weeks. Once Ultimate Custom Night does come out, I'm hoping to live stream it. If it comes out early on the 29th, I'll be able to live stream it. If it comes out later that day, I unfortunately won't be able to live stream it until Monday, because I will be away. Um, so yeah. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. And if you are excited for Custom Night, don't forget to leave a like, and subscribe, so when it comes out, and when I do live stream it, and beat 50-20 mode, you'll be able to see it. So thank you everyone so much for watching this video, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.